for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers we took a good time to check to see do you realize that in the military if your father is the president and for his selfish reasons you are just bet maybe a captain and he wants to make you the chief of army staff he will need to first of all retire everybody or no promote you first to become either a general and then he will need to retire everyone that is after you or before you the reason is that is because for that is because if he doesn't promote you and you still remain that captain other military agencies across the world will not honor you because of your rank so they won't salute you the global body of the military will not recognize you as somebody who is senior so he will need to fast track your promotion because you're about to enter into an office and in that office you will need to also uh, meet other people of of a similar rank and you will need to be upgraded so that you can be able to think and act in that capacity Do you understand when god wants to help a believer to come up to speed to be able to avenge other things in the spirit what he does is he heightens your rank and god doesn't do it like the world will do it by just promoting you without experience. because in the kingdom your promotion and your experience come together you cannot be promoted in the kingdom of god without experience because in the day of battle every experience you had will be brought to bear and your authority in the kingdom when you say in the name of jesus it is not in how deep your vocal cord is in the name of jesus no it's going to be by the things the processes you have willingly allowed yourself to go through for the sake of the kingdom when you say in the name of jesus everything that was part of your process speaks with you and then there's power so he's saying to us that in this kingdom we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and we took time to check the hierarchy and the strata in the kingdom if a man is deep in darkness and all you do is sleep all night never intercede and inter interact with, with the realm of the spirit at night and you wake up and wear that your white suit to the crusade ground demons we afflict you apostle once said that some of us in the body of christ or in churches even demons will not use us because we are so lazy for a man to be a baba lao mama lao or uncle lao any laos there's a high level of discipline that comes with witchcraft have you not heard in their confessions I was made to sleep in an open grave have you heard it before in their confessions I was made to even bring the head of the person I love the most I'm saying to you that in the realm of the spirit nothing is free a price must be paid stop wishing stop sowing physical seed and say I tap you will you will not tap you need to find your secret place a day is coming a day is coming not too long someone said that the love of Jesus cannot be taken away from a believer that we are sealed by Christ uh, that is true as a memory verse you just quoted but in reality the context we need to find out the context there's a region there's a region just like this place is there's a region called a region of grace the reason why demons can't be born again because they have gone out of the region of grace a man can partner with demons so much that the demon will help him go beyond the region where grace can reach him have you heard the bible speak about a discussion it's as though three brethren were discussing and they were wondering 
to themselves and that wonder that thought was captured in scriptures in Romans is a what shall separate us from the love of God and the first speaker mentioned shall persecution shall trial shall peril shall what again famine what again sword the first speaker mentioned the possible things that can separate us from the love of God and the next speaker now spoke and said many other things and said even the things that are and the things that are to come so this second speaker took us beyond time into the 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 the, the age to come because the average pastor today will teach us and land us about your money comes to you now money is spent in time your car comes to you now car is needed in time your wife comes to you now wife time every average preacher we keep us within the zoo of time meanwhile you are a being of eternity only short into time to fulfill a mandate and that mandate is a prep to prepare us to live the life in the afterlife because after all is said and done you will need to locate your throne because there are thrones principalities powers to find your throne and sit on that throne because not too long from now there will be a battle of thrones and in that day woe to that one that sucks because if you still suck we have left the regime of milk we have taken bones you were just sucking and you were happy that you were held for long in the day of the war of thrones there will be a cry in Bethlehem when the king Herod heard about a king that was born you see thrones are already fighting when that king heard about a king that was born though the king was still laying in a manger he knew that a man on a throne he might be small don't joke with thrones and he tried to look for that one that was born king of the Jews and in trying to find one he killed two years downward when the war of thrones start it will be war to you if you are not seated on your own throne because they will squeeze you and throw you away so our job is to tell people to prepare that beyond time there's a civilization coming where you will need to be armed to the teeth on your throne because kings will fight it's a game of thrones it's a war of thrones when we say pray we're not saying we like prayer too much nobody likes prayer if you ask anybody prayer is not sweet worship is sweeter than prayer we can worship for long but prayer you need to condition your heart by the help of the Holy Ghost and locomotively begin to pray before he now takes you on eagle's wings he says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal they are not sensual but they are mighty through God through the pulling down of strongholds when you pray pray in this manner our father so everyone that prays our our engagement with God in prayer will be on either of these platforms and the first platform is the platform as uh, 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 as with God as what father number two our prayer can be to God on the platform of a friend when Abraham was negotiating the destiny of Sodom and Gomorrah it was on the platform of what friend did you get that so he was interceding but he was not in the capacity of son and father even though he is truly is a son but he had been given a privilege and he called Abraham a friend so a man can know God or can be known by God in, a, in such a manner that God will relate with him as a friend will I hide anything from my friend Abraham number three God and you can operate on the platform 
as a judge as a judge and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one this prayer is a beacon for deliverance uh, if I'm led because I'm still working on that in my spirit I want to teach us how to manage lies how to manage lies in this life that we live there will be so many liars or the liar will speak to us in so many ways you need to be armed on how to manage his lies did you see what happened to your father get ready is coming to you if you don't know that that was a lie you will receive it and because you received it you will see a hundredfold manifestation of that which your heart had chosen to believe how to manage lies who told you that you will make it in life who told you you'll be great you will need the truth to be revealed to you that what you just heard now is a lie so he said deliver us from evil that man was is is is, is praying and asking the lord for deliverance from one who is entrenched in evil the man's normal way of life is to do evil he afflicts he's not happy when you are happy he's only happy when you are sad his nomenclature his frame his his build up everything he does is to afflict is to bring evil to people he said friends learn how to pray because as you marshal out in the world the evil one will wait for you because he will come let me show you quickly how he operates first peter be sober be vigilant and it tells us why because your adversary so in case you don't know people that pray every enemy of my father's house <laughs> demons don't operate like that demons come to you demons with the way your head the shape of your head a demon that can operate with your head <laughs> is customized i have news for you fair sister that is beautiful mary Kay and all the stuff i have news for you you have a customized adversary for your this is my wife's handbag if you take it now she'll say give me my handbag you have an adversary he has been allocated to your life the way you have angels that work with you the demon world are so magnanimous they are so liberal to assign a demon to you pastor And the demon assigned to you is going to be with reference to your family line. I'll show you very soon. For your adversary. Now, the word adversary brings us into another ecosystem. Adversary. There are two ways to fight. You either fight on ground, like Russia and Ukraine are fighting physically. Or you fight in a place called a courtroom don't be afraid don't be afraid or in a courtroom in a court session that thing called the dock and that guy that has one white thing called the wick with a gravel in his hand he can he can put you in prison for life so you will need a well tutored lawyer that is armed to the teeth with the law to be able to undo what the adversary wants to do in your life so the place of the advocate comes to play and we hear the bible talks about jesus being our advocate and he is the righteous one it is him that has qualified to stand before the judge and to atone for you and i for your adversary the devil are you seeing that devil now the prayer was first deliver us from evil but if there's an evil that was made to you there is a doer of the evil he has been revealed here clearly who the devil 
for your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour let me show you three things here which i've done already i've shown you one already the first thing that you need to know about this warfare and the warfare is in the heavenly places and you're asking where is heavenly places not just somewhere in the sky it can be trapped in your mind casting down every imagination and every high thing that seeks to exalt itself above the knowledge so if you have a certain degree of the knowledge of christ and you don't seek to grow in that knowledge something else can want to take its place above that knowledge that you know and whoever stays above controls your life if what is in your spirit and above every other knowledge is the knowledge of christ then you see the workings of the life of christ becoming palpable pliable in your life so the first thing we see here is that this personality is your adversary amen number two your adversary the devil as a roaring lion what's his job description he walketh about this is so important for you to know the devil is mobile he walks about what's going on what's going on is esther who is esther this is your case discussing the dark in the kingdom of darkness now who is esther is one small girl though, 24 years old what and she's praying like this bring her file do not check her file to check how, how did we defeat her grandfather her grandmother oh she's praying quacky quacky lucky leave her there he will now walk he walks about he will now walk into the history of your family and look for the way he defeated your grandmother either by sickness or by that he now brings that same thing and put upon esther in 2022 he you need the ministry of the advocate to shed light upon your heart to know that it is time for war and begin to engage your gear and switch these are times where no sleep you do anything you need to do to take sleep from your eyes until you break it because if you don't break it in your time your granddaughter if jesus tarries when she tried to pray again they'll say who is that person is felicia they'll look for what killed you it will kill your granddaughter because the devil walketh about oscillation motion he moves into your history a hundred years into your lineage you will find the thing that killed your tenth grandfather and in this year he'll bring it to you the guy is intelligent he walks about he walks about that's number two number three satan keeps to time satan keeps to time because he knows that if he walks about well he can't kill everybody so he seeks for whom to devour there are people that he can't devour just in case he finds you and you are devourable <laughs> he devours satan keeps to time have you heard people say every time i'm about to write my exam i fall ill because he keeps to time 